Hello and welcome to our English CRT Boot Camp Spring 2014 Day 1. Grammar Review We are going to be reviewing some grammar in this section. We are going to be reviewing commas. The rule of using comma. Rule 1. To avoid confusion, use commas to separate words and word groups with a series of three or more. An example, my $10, uh, my 10 million estate is to be split among my husband, daughter, son, and nephew. Omitting the comma after son would indicate that the son and nephew would have to split one third of the estate. Rule two. Use a comma to separate two ad adjectives when the word and can be inserted between them. Examples. He is a strong, healthy man. We stayed at an expensive summer resort. You would not say expensive and summer resort, so no comma. Rule 3. Use a comma when an L-Y adjective is used with other adjectives. Note. To test whether... An L-Y word is an adjective. See if it can be used alone with the noun. If it can, use a comma. Examples. Felix was a lonely, confused boy. I get headaches in brightly lit rooms. Brightly is not an adjective because it cannot be used alone with rooms. It is an adverb describing it. Therefore, no comma is used between brightly and lit. Rule 4. Use commas before or surrounding the name or title of a person directly addressed. Examples. Will you, Aisha, do that assignment for me? Yes, doctor, I will. Note. Capitalize a title when directly addressing someone. Rule 5. Use a comma to separate the day of the month from the year and after the year. Kathleen met her husband on December 5th. 2003 in Mill Valley, California. This is our grammar section. Now we are going to be focusing on some reading comprehension. We are going to, in this section, we are going to be reading an article and answering some questions. We are also going to review some of the test taking strategies. Let's look at this question, or this reading comprehension. The sport of inline skating. Most people are familiar with roller skating. Inline skating, however, is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. In 1984, there are 20,000 inline skaters. By 1992, there are more than 3 million inline skaters. Inline skaters have a single row of polyurethane rollers attached to the bottom of the padded boot. The number of rollers on a skate can vary from 3 to 5. At the rear of the skate is a heel stop. I bought my first pair of inline skates with money that I had saved from birthdays and from babysitting jobs. I bought a pair of four-wheeled skates for $65. I also decided to buy the safety equipment. Gloves, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, recommended by friends who are inline skaters. I left the store broke, but exhilarated. As soon as I got home, I wanted to start skating. A friend who is a member of the International Inline Skating Association suggested that I learned to stop before I started to skate. She suggested that I practice on a safe grassy area, so I walked to a nearby park. I'd spent about an hour practicing to stop. When I felt comfortable stopping, I found an empty tennis court and I practiced skating strokes. I fell several times. Each time I fell, I was grateful that I was wearing the safety equipment. I'll never fell. I'll never forget that day. My body was in pain, but my spirit was lifted by the thrill of gliding across the sediment. It has been three years since I bought my first inline skates. 
My friends and I belong to an inline skating club. Our local YMCA allows us to use their rink, and the health club allows inline skating an hour every day in the gym. I believe that my skills at inline skating are good enough for me to become a professional skater. Here's a picture below. Now, the reading comprehension question starts with number nineteen. Let's first. We are going to read the question. While you, you are having a reading comprehension, you are always reading the question first, and then you go back to the text and read it, read it through, highlighting important places, and highlight where you could find your answer. In today's lesson, because of time limits, I am actually not going to read through this again. But you can al always go back and read through the selection again. Now, question number nineteen, or logically number one. In this section, the word exhilarated means F exhausted, G excited, H excluded, J expended. So let's read the sentence with exhilarated. I bought a pair of four-wheel skates for sixty-five dollars. I also decided to buy the safety equipment: gloves, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guard. Recommended by friends who are inline skaters. I left the store broke, but exhilarated. Now, let's first, if you are not really sure about that, eliminate answers that are obviously incorrect. Let's look at answer choice number F. Exhausted. Does it mean that the store when the store broke, but exhausted? No. Now let's look at answer choice number H. Excluded. The store didn't tell us that it is excluded. And J, of course, we need to eliminate that because the store did not expand. So the correct answer would be G. Question number twenty. The selection implies that roller skating is a as popular as inline skating. B more difficult than inline skating. C a sport of the past. D not as safe as inline skating. Now, to find this answer, we're first going to look at paragraph number one because it talks about the differences between roller skating and inline skating. Read through that paragraph. Now answer this question first by eliminating. What can you eliminate? A. As popular as inline skating. Actually, inline skating was the fastest growing sport in the world, so A would be eliminated. B. More difficult. No. D. Not as safe as inline skating. Definitely not. So it'd be C, a sport of the past. Number twenty-one. What is at the rear of an inline skate? F. A heel stop. G. A polyurethane roller. H. A safety guard. J. A distance meter. Find this answer yourself, and then we're gonna go over it. The correct answer is F, a heel stop, because the the article talks about that. So that's why the friend tells the author to practice stopping. Twenty two. Which of these is an opinion in the selection? A. Inline skating is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. B. My skills at inline skating are good enough for me to become a professional skater. C. Inline skates can have three, four, or five wheels. D. Safety equipment for inline skating includes gloves, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, and wrist guards. So let's look at number A. Inline skating is one of the fastest growing sports in the world. That's actually true because you can find it find it find it in the first paragraph. B. My skills at inline skating are good enough for me to be become a professional skater. Maybe that would be that would be an opinion because that's what the author thinks. So the correct answer is B. Twenty-three. 
What should you do if you were asked to skim this selection? F. Carefully reread the selection. G. Recall the main idea of the selection. H. Quickly look through the selection. J. Review your notes about the selection. The correct answer with even guessing would be H. When you're skimming the selection, you're basically just quick and quickly look through the selection. 24. The web shows some important ideas in the selection. Fill in the empty boxes with the missing information. Now, inline skating, places to practice and safety equipment. So we can practice at park gym, YMCA rink, and also it mentions about tennis court. Safety equipment include gloves, helmet, knee, and elbow pads. Also included wrist guard if you could look back to the article. Last question. Describe the author's first day on inline skates. Well, the answer may vary, but before you start answering this question, first, start with the topic sentence. In this passage, the sports of inline skating. Also, name the author if there is any. The author's first day on inline skates was something. So let's... Well, let's just think about that. What do you think that? What do you think the author's first day on inline skating? What What do you think the author feels? What happened? Okay. So now, during author's first day on inline skates, he practiced stopping. Right. So he lists that. But the answer may vary. Depend on what you think, but you must explain using supporting details. Jane Schaefer writing T S C D C M C M, and then a C D C M C M, and a T C S. The concluding sentence. Test tip. Notice the clue word first in question twenty-five. Your answer should not retell the entire story. It should focus on the first time the author tried inline skates. Okay, so that's how you do the reading comprehension section. Video. Now it is time for exciting video. We are going to be watching this exciting video together. Hit pause and give her a skim. Okay. The primary purpose of lines five through nine is to uh, what? And here are the potential answers. Alrighty. Well, let's take a look at lines five through nine and see what we're working with. Except it proceed not out of a pleasure in solitude, but out of a love and desire to sequester a man's self for a higher conversation, such as is found to have been falsely and feignedly in some of the heathen, as Epimenides the Kenyan, Numa the Roman, Empedocles the Sicilian, and Apollonius of Tiana, and truly and really in divers of the ancient hermits and holy fathers of the church. Okay, so what's the gist? Bacon is talking about solitude here. And he's saying that solitude for solitude's sake is kind of stupid. He says it more eloquently than that, but of course the uh, gists aren't always pretty. On the other hand, if you pass on hanging out with friends because you want to get some me time and really do some serious thinking about major life stuff, well, then it's perfectly acceptable. So, now, which of our answer choices fits with that concept? Boom, we hit it right out of the gate. Answer A. A says... Qualify the instances in which solitude is preferable to friendship. So, yeah, that's uh, what we just said, right? We don't even need to waste our time looking at the other answers. A is the one we're looking for. We hope you watch this video with a friend. <laughs> subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, that's all for our English CRT Bootcamp Spring 2014 Day 1.